What is up you guys? Thank you for tuning in again. It's your boy Tony. We're going to have another video on the WRX. But first I want to thank all you subscribers. I didn't mention it last video but I just hit 100 subscribers which is a big deal to me. Right now I think I'm at 153 or something like that. But I'm hoping to reach 1000 hopefully this year. So that's the plan and uh, thank you guys for all the support and all the love that you guys show down in the comments and also on Instagram. And if you haven't followed my Instagram, it's right here. So <clears throat> without further ado, today what we're going to do is I asked you guys earlier in the other video if I should do this or not. And a lot of you guys said I should. So what I think I, I like as well is before i put the body on i had the jdm side markers because i had the whole front end so what today i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be installing the jdm side markers so it'll be a little tutorial on how you guys could do it and well just the way that i'm doing it so let's get to it all right so what i already had drawn up is where I'm gonna put it and these are gonna be the side the side markers that are gonna go right there so it should look pretty legit what some of you guys don't know is before I had this body kit on um, I had different wheels on this and for some reason while I was driving one of the wheels just came off I don't I don't really know the reason why but my fender got totaled so if i have an image i'm gonna put it right here and if not then um yeah so i have an extra fender which were the original jdm ones so i used i made a template out of that one so i could draw it onto the fender so as you guys can see this is the original one so it's easy for me to mock up where it goes so I just made a template for it so I could cut it out the right way and and I just put it right here so this is what I did I marked up I marked on top to show the line the body line and then also I marked up where the screw is up top and right here I don't know if you guys can see that good so that way I could figure it out the same side since this is clear I could just mock it up reverse and then do it on this side as well so it should be pretty easy to install so let's get into it all right, you guys, so I'm going to start cutting this up. What I'm going to be using is a Dremel with a little cutoff wheel. So this is for metal, but I mean, it'll cut fiberglass for sure. And also, I'll be using these glasses. And I don't have one of those little paper masks, so I'm going to be using this one. Because you don't really want to be breathing in all that fiberglass stuff. So... Let's get a cut in. Alright, so what I did now is I switched to this little grinding wheel or whatever it is. Just so I could get the corners right. So I didn't even think about this, but since this is longer, 
it hits the fender in the back so what I'm gonna have to do is take off the over fender and then make a hole right here as well so it could fit inside so just like any other install there's always something else that comes up that you never think about that you have to do so it makes it a little bit longer but it's got to get done so let's get into that Alright, so I cut the back of it already. So now let's get this size going the right shape it should be so we can put on the side marker. Forgot my face now. There it is, perfect fit. So, now let's just do the other side. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here, use this template and uh, mark up where I'm gonna put it at. Since I didn't show you guys on the first one, I'm gonna show you guys right now. So this one looks to be right there. I'm gonna just make sure I me I measured um I measured where the middle of each side is so I could put a level and make sure that it is like um, straight. <clears throat> all right, all right. So that right there is level. So now I'm gonna just mark it up. So that right there is where we're going to cut out now. Let's get into that. So right now I'm going to mark up inside of the fender with the sharpie to let me know what I need to cut inside for this side marker to fit in there. Alright, so now that we have the clearance, now let's start getting into this with more detail.
Alrighty, so there we have it. JDM marker is finally on. Looks level. I'm pretty sure it's as you can get. It's gonna look so good once everything's painted and and finished. So now all I have to do is just pretty much um, just connect it. So I already have the connector. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's right here. All right, so now I'm gonna just connect this and make sure that it's still working and show you guys how I have it connected. So this is the JDM connector, which I wired up. <sighs> Since this before was a bug eye, if you guys did not know, I changed this um, front end from a bug eye to the JDM blow by version. <clears throat> so on bug eyes, you have little side markers right here. Or just, I don't know, some little lights. I don't even know if there's side markers. But, so what I did was I connected this wire. Just ran it all the way back here. And that's what I'm using for these side markers. So now let me connect it and show you guys how it looks. Alright, so let's see if you can see when it turned on. Man, that's how it's gonna look when it's on with the body kit. It should look sick. So now I'm gonna just clean this up and finish up. All right, you guys. So that's gonna do it for today's video. So be sure to keep on tuning into my channel to get updates on this WRX. So so far, what next videos are gonna be is pretty much. Um, Doing all kinds of stuff just to prep it, getting ready for paint. Because I am going to either paint the body kit or the whole car. I'm still debating on it and talking with some people about it. And seeing what's the best move for me right now. Since a whole paint job is going to cost a lot more than just the body kit. But kind of feel like changing the whole body color. But even though I do love the World Wild Blue. Um... I don't know. I'm just really thinking about it right now. So, so we'll see what I end up doing um, in these upcoming videos. Of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated so you guys can know what's going on with this build and help me out along the way. So I just can't wait to get all this painted and get it looking good because right now it kind of looks ghetto with a black fender and then the body blue. And so I really want to get all this together, going together good. Hopefully I could get it ready for the little big meet um, that's coming up in May. So if you guys are around Central Cali, be sure to stop by and check out my car. It will be there, finished or not finished. So once again, don't forget to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Smash it right now if you haven't already. Thank you if you have. And you can also... Hit that notification bell so you stay updated with my WRX and see what I, what I have coming for it. And if you haven't already, like and comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the side markers. Are you a fan of them or not? Um, me personally, I really like them. It gives it a little different look and it adds to the body kit, I believe. So, I can't wait to see it all complete. Uh, I just gotta trust the process I guess and um, and hopefully sooner or later this thing will be looking legit and I also put my other wheels I also put my old wheels on my other WRX what do you guys think about that I think it looks pretty good uh, compared to stock I mean they look a lot better so with all that being said don't forget Follow my Instagram. Because I always show sneak peeks of before what video I'm doing. Or I show you a little insight of <laughs> stuff that I do on the daily. So be sure to follow it. So once again, it's your boy Tony. And don't forget to live. Peace. <laughs>